What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, I hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. You feel me? I hope y'all had a good Thanksgiving. I hope y'all got a haircut. I hope y'all was wavy. You know what I'm saying? We got PNB waves right now. All right. He's about to talk about why your washing style didn't work. So if y'all do a washing styles and they don't work, he's about to show you why. All right. Y'all see me? I got the clean lineup. You feel me? Um, y'all get down below and let me know what other videos y'all want me to react to or watch. All right, because that's what I'm mainly going to be doing on this channel, just to give y'all a heads up. I appreciate all y'all for the support. If you liking it, if you subscribing, if you new, I appreciate you, y'all. But keep in mind that the content is going to change up on this channel. So if y'all support me, bro, I appreciate it. All right, so let's get into it. What's up, Waivers? Welcome to PhD and Waves. Welcome to another video. In it's today's cracking. video, I'm going to go over all the reasons why your washing style is not working for you. I've made a ton of wash and style videos and I keep getting comments of people saying the wash and style is not working for you, your hair is curling up, uh, you lost progress. So in today's video, I'm going to go over all the reasons why the wash and style is not working for you and then I'm also going to give you easy ways to fix these problems and solutions so you can do the wash and style successfully. The wash and style is probably the best 360 wave method. It's like a cheat code. Waves in order to gain it's like a cheat code. Really fast. So I want everybody to master the wash and style method. So with that being said, let's get right into it. It's like a cheat code, bro, when you do wash and styles. It's like a cheat code, you feel me? The first reason why the wash and style method is not working for you is because your hair is not long enough. I made a video after I Makes styled, sense. my hair was starting Makes to grow sense. and I decided to do the wash okay. and style method just to see what would happen and literally nothing happened. Yep. I wasn't able to get waves and that's simply because my hair wasn't long enough. Look, if hey, you want to do the look, look, be look, before y'all click off, I know y'all about to click off, but look, some of y'all whose hair length is at is right here. If your hair look like this, and you brushing, you're not gonna see progress, bro. You're not gonna see no progress when your hair looks like this, bro. You feel me? You gotta get more hair. So all that brushing you doing, you're not gonna see no progress at the top right here. Cause you don't have enough hair for it to connect. So make sure y'all grow enough hair, bro, in order for all this to connect. Make sure you have enough hair in order for the washing style to work. You feel me? So grow enough hair like a month and a half, maybe two months, and then start brushing like crazy. Then you're gonna start seeing it connect. Washing style, you wanna make sure that you have enough look, curls on look, your Look, you see, there's no hair right here, y'all. There's no hair, bro. So how are these gonna connect? Look. They bro. <laughs> They can't even connect if you don't have enough hair right there. And a lot of y'all hair look like that, bro. It's crazy, right? This is why a lot of y'all waves are not connecting, bro. Right there, bro. Feel me? So grow enough hair so all that can connect. Your head in order it's simple. For them to form into waves. Simple. But if your hair is not long enough and you haven't reached your curl length, it's impossible for the wash and style method to work for you. Also, if your hair is not even able to curl up, if you have a straighter hair texture, the washing style is not going to be able to get you waves because waves are simply curls laid down. I went over all these topics in my 360 wave guide on my website where I break down all of these things, including this video. I don't want to gatekeep this kind of information. Another reason why the washing style method respect, doesn't work respect. for shorter hair is because when you're rinsing out your hair, when your hair is at shorter lengths, it's very easy for your hair to move out of place. But if you have more hair, if you have a thicker, fuller head of hair, it is gonna be a lot harder for your hair to move out of place when you're rinsing it during the wash and style. The second reason why the wash and style method is not working for you is because you're not using enough lather. And that could be for two reasons. What? The first reason is you're not using enough soap and the second reason is your, your hair is simply not clean enough. The cleaner your hair is, the more lather you're going to be able to create. So I'm actually going to demonstrate a lot of these things that I'm going to say in the video just to give you guys a better understanding of how to do the wash and style method successfully. All right, Waver, so let me demonstrate what I just went over about not having enough lather. So let me go over that right now. All right, so I'm going to wet my hair. Then I'm going to add some soap. 
All right, so as you can see, there's literally no lather on this first scramble wash. There's literally no lather at all. So what I'm gonna have to do is... It ain't enough lather, for one. The hair is too short. For number two, you won't create lather on the first wash because your hair is dirty. So you have to wash your hair first to get all that dirt out in order to create lather, bro. Lather won't create if you have all that junk built up in it. What are you talking about? So I'm gonna have to scramble wash two to three times in order to create a thicker lather. Second scramble wash rinse. You're not even trying to create lather, my nigga. Just look. I want y'all to right. I, I want y'all to go back to the first and second wash and my, my my listen I'm not trying to bash you but my boy you barely you barely you feel me barely did it but then when you look at your last wash as you can see my you hair wanna, is getting cleaner and cleaner that's why you could see more lather so throughout the full wash and style you want to make sure you have a very thick lather throughout the full process the because hell lather is actually the main thing that's going to keep your card hair in my park down. So you do want to make sure that you have lather throughout the whole process. All right, Waver. So the next reason why the wash and style method is not working for you is because you're not training your hair enough. You're not brushing your hair into place or putting your hair into place enough for you to get 360 waves. All right. So after I rinse out my hair, I like to comb my hair back into place just to make sure everything is nice and detangled. All right, so even though I comb my hair into place, you could still see my hair is still frizzy. So in order to stop that, the whole reason the wash and style method works so well is because of lather. Lather is the main thing that is gonna hold all this frizziness down and it's gonna make sure your pattern is laid. So right now I'm gonna add in a bunch of soap into my hair just so I could create a thick lather. Now that I put lather all throughout my hair, the next thing I want to do is I want to put lather inside my brush. The reason you want to put soap in your brush is because, look, I'm going to start brushing my hair. You could literally see the lather disappear from my hair. It's not enough water. Simply by brushing my hair. So what I want to do is I want to add soap to my brush. And I want to make sure that my brush is also filled with a bunch of soap and lather because, like I said, Lather is the main ingredient that's gonna keep your hair laid, and it's gonna be the main reason your hair stays in place during the wash and style method. So now I am gonna add more soap to my hair. So the next reason why the wash and style method water. isn't working for you is because you're not training your hair enough, you're not brushing your hair enough, Put some more water you're in not it. putting in the brush work. You wanna spend like three to four minutes on each side of your wave pattern, just to make sure it's nice and trained. But if you're literally just spending like five minutes in total on your whole pattern, there's no way for your hair to be trained. So you do wanna make sure you're spending a very good amount of time training each side of your wave pattern. Also, it's not required, but that's also why I like using a detangling brush, just to make sure my pattern is nice and detangled. But you could Gotta use a detangle use a brush. regular brush just to train your hair. Also, during the wash and style method, if you start to lose lather, don't be afraid to add more soap and add more water. Just so you maintain a thick lather throughout the full wash and style process. And like I keep saying, the lather is the main ingredient that's gonna keep your hair laid and in place. And you also wanna make sure that you're using a brush that's hard enough. If your hair is long, you shouldn't be using a soft brush. You should be using a medium or a hard brush just to ensure that your hair is being moved into place and trained properly. And also, you wanna make sure that the bristles are training all layers of your pattern. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna get in a nice, good brush session just to make sure all my hair is in place and everything is nice and laid. After you 
brush the main sides of your pattern, you do want to do some crown isolation. So that's what I'm going to do right now for around three to four minutes, just to make sure that my crown area is in place. Also, my mirror broke, so I'm Damn. using this mini. I'm using this mini mirror to see my brush angles. So, <laughs> bro, bro, my my crown sucks, bro. Like I don't really even care about my crown. to become trained when you could already see your waves during this process like you could really see my waves already that's because i've been brushing so much that my waves are starting to pop out all right wavers so after you get in a brush session and you spend a good amount of time training your wave pattern and you know for a fact all your hair is brushed into place on each side including your crown area the next step is also very important this is probably another reason why the wash and style uh, isn't working for you. But if you're not smoothing your entire wave pattern down with lather before you put on the do-rag, that could be a reason why the wash and style method is not working for you. After you brush, what you wanna do is you wanna get a very thick lather to smooth your entire wave pattern down. Lay down so all the frizz. Some and some water. I got some. Yo, leather. all this is important, bro. Like, now I'm just smoothing down. Like y'all wouldn't even understand how much it takes to get waves. Pattern. Everything you gotta do, like it's crazy. Just like that. I don't want to see any frizz at all. I want to make sure everything is nice and laid before I put on the do rag. So if you see a place that you think might be a little bit out of place, just go back and brush it back into place. Now we're going back to laying everything down. After I get the main sides of my pattern, I like to go to my crown and make sure it's laid down and in place. All right, it looks like everything is nice and smoothed down. The next okay. step is putting on a do-rag. Another reason why the washing style may not be working for you is because either you're not tying your do-rag tight enough or you're tying it too tight. If you tie the do-rag too loose, your hair is gonna fall out of place when you're rinsing out your hair. So you wanna make sure it's tight enough, but you don't wanna make it so tight that you're crushing your waves. So you wanna put it on in a way that's very delicate and careful but you also want to make sure it's nice and secure. You want to put it on very carefully. You don't want to ruin the lather. You don't want to ruin the way your waves are because the do-rag is kind of locking in your wave pattern to the way it is. So just tie it where, you know, it's tight enough, but it's not hurting your head. I feel like that's a good way to look at it. All right. I like to double knot it just in case because I don't want the do-rag to fall off while I'm rinsing out. Also, I like to tie the tail. Everything is nice and secure. The next reason why the washing style may not be working for you is because you're using hot water. You want to make sure the water is actually on the colder side. You don't really want to use hot water because hot water can actually make your curls very loose and they can move them out of place. So I recommend using slightly cold water. It doesn't have to be freezing, just make sure it's not warm or hot. You don't want a super strong pressure while you're rinsing it out because that can move your hair out of place and that could be another reason why the wash and style method is not working for you. Let me rinse out my hair facts, so we facts. can move on to the next step. Facts, facts, facts. All right, waivers, so I just got done rinsing all the soap out of my hair with like cold water. And like I said, I'm just patting my hair dry just to get it as dry as possible, just to speed up the drying process. So another reason why the washing style may not be working for you is you're not letting your hair fully dry. Like I said before, water causes your hair to frizz and the do-rag is actually keeping your hair laid down until it's fully dry. Yep. So if you take off your do-rag before your hair is dry, your hair is still gonna frizz up. It doesn't matter how much brushing you did, how much lather you used. If you don't keep the do-rag on, your hair is gonna frizz up because the do-rag is 
holding your hair down. Before, the lather was holding your hair down, but now that you rinsed out all the lather from your hair, the do-rag is kind of like taking the place of the lather, if that makes sense. So you wanna make sure your do-rag stays on. I don't care if it takes your hair three or four hours to dry, make sure you keep your do-rag on or your hair will frizz up and you're gonna waste all that time. You're gonna lose all that progress. The best thing you could do is use a towel or I don't really recommend this. I don't know how safe it is, but if you wanna use a blow dryer to speed things up, it may or may not work, but I personally, I've always just let my hair air dry. I'm gonna wait for my hair to fully dry and then I'm gonna show you guys the final results. I went over everything you guys have to do. Hopefully you follow along. So once my hair completely dries, I'm gonna show you guys the final results. Also, I forgot to say, while you're waiting for your hair to dry, don't lay down on the bed, don't lay your head down on anything. You're just gonna get your pillow wet and you could also crush your waves that way. And that's probably another reason why the wash and style method is not working for you. Just let your hair air dry. All right, wavers, my hair just finished drying. It took around almost three hours. So when you're waiting for your hair to dry, especially if your hair is longer, it is gonna take, um, it is gonna take a little bit of time. So you have to be patient and please make sure your hair is fully dry. You can tell your hair is dry if you like pat down on your do-rag. Facts. And you don't really feel any water on your scalp. Also, you gotta make sure your do-rag is fully dry too. So, let me show you guys uh, the results. Okay. Woo! Clean. Woo -hoo. These are the results. Like, every single time, like, every single time. Look at those results. It's insane. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I do after the wash and style because I already have a video about what I do after the wash and style. But if you follow all those steps that I detailed for you in this video, your waves should come out super silky like we have here, super duper silky. So yeah, just to go over everything one more time. First, your hair might not be long enough. Y'all let me know down below how y'all feel about the information he just gave, all right? Um, try it out, bro. You might like it, but it's a good video.